Are we live? I think we're live. This is a local recording. I actually already did Abigail's trials, but I don't want to dig through all my streaming footage to find them. And I did them with a lot of testing in between because I was trying to figure out what his combo routes were. But now I've just finished the script for the Abigail and B&B, &B, and I want to go back to the trials and look at them to see if there's anything I missed. And besides that, um, uh, I thought I'd have a cleaner, faster upload if I just did them all in a row. Um... I don't know if these are going to be like super, super optimal. People were saying, I remember when I first did them, I had the impression that they were super, super optimal combos. Um, Abigail, his combos aren't actually, they're actually pretty hard. They're harder than most of the characters in this game. Um, here's here's one I thought that was going to be a B and B. Look, it's jump hard kick, stand medium punch, and then back fierce. But if you do the back fierce as a target combo, instead of doing the medium Abigail punch, like that, and then you dash in, if they quick stand, it's actually plus three. Which means that if you do an immediate command grab, it'll be, it'll hit them on their third frame of wake up, and grabs beat hits on the same frame, so it'll beat any reversal normal because the fastest reversal normals in this game are three frames. So this is like a, that's a setup. Plus three into plus three is really good. That's like better than just completing the combo, but the completing the combo can be the right thing, like if it's gonna kill or something like that. You actually don't lose that much damage, you only lose like 30 to get that plus 3 meaty. Kind of interesting. Jump hard kick, crouch hard punch, EX giant flip. This I thought this was a really good combo the first time, but this isn't even optimal. Like this combo that it shows right here, I thought it was like a good combo, but now I've discovered you can do this. Um, into walk in towards fierce, into, I missed a hit, the lights giant flip. And that actually does a little more. There's a micro walk in the middle, but it's really not that hard because you're doing a micro walk into a forward hard. So like you're just holding forward, and it's just about timing the. As long as you're holding forward, it's just about timing the uh, towards fierce correctly, and it's really not that hard of a timing. And it works from a lot of different ranges. Again, I was early, but that does more damage than this combo right here, and it probably has like better Oki to be honest. Actually, I don't know that. No, I, yeah, it probably has better Oki. So this is not a super optimal combo either. It's a lot easier though. Well, not a lot easier, but like easier enough that maybe if you didn't want to drop it. What else we got? Jumping hard punch. This was cool. I didn't know about this until uh, this trial. Um, and then you get the Abbey lift. Um, this is definitely not optimal. Um, if you wanted optimal one bar... Well, I don't know. There isn't really a good one bar combo at all. But there's no reason to use the X Nitro Charge here. The X Dynamite Punch doesn't even do that good damage. You'd probably end up doing more damage just by doing... Um, no, there's literally, like, no good EX combo here. Like, this combo should do more damage than, um, this, which is, like, the meterless combo. But it's so little compared to, like, it's not worth it. But it does work, which is kind of cool. EX Nitro Charge, EX Dynamite Punch. This is, like, pretty optimal. This is, like, the B&B &B Ender. Unless you want to just do the TC and get the plus three, which is probably better. But that's like your go-to after a after an EX run punch. Um, this is all assuming no V trigger. So in hard punch counter, I'd be lift. That's towards fierce, right? That's not good. This is I this this combo. This is actually a good combo. This is a combo assuming you're not getting point blank. Because if you're getting point blank, stand fierce, you can get like a micro walk into um, stand strong, and then get that combo. But uh, if you're not point blank, you actually don't. You can't. You can't. You can't get that. There's no micro walk kind of combos. But this combo actually, it it's got time for a dash. It's like a like an any connect stand hard punch instead of like a DP punish stand hard punch kind of combo. So it doesn't really tell you what this combo is used for. But this is one of his B and Bs. It's just based on range. If you're like far away, this is the best follow up from a standing hard punch. And stand hard punch is a good poke. It goes really far. What else we got? Ex nitro charge. Ex dynamite punch. Ex Abigail smash. That's the ex command grab. This this might not be bad. No, because you can do like, you can do this. No, wait. What is the combo? Oh, it's back fierce. Yeah, you'd rather do that. That's like way better. I was trying to think of like what the optimal ender here was. But it would be something like that. That will do more damage than this combo that I'm about to do. This combo's still cool, though. So 
these aren't quite optimal. I think Capcom thought that they were optimal or thought that they would like were situationally optimal, but there's a little bit of tweakiness he can do. That kind of changes him. Max power, stand hard punch, Abby Blaster, Abby Twist. This is he has he has nutty combos from this. This is nowhere near optimal. Abigail special is the super, right? If you're getting a fully charged stand hard punch, you can do anything. What's Abby Blaster? What's Abby Twist? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this it says Abby Twist, right? Or Abby Blaster, Abby Twist. You can do that twice. It just shows it once. It's kind of hard. I'll try it a few times. But this is not an optimal combo. And holy cow, the damage that adds. That's a 900 stun combo, and it does like 680 some damage. It is really, really strong. Jump hard kick, Abby lift, max power. This is, um, I actually was like trying to, this is actually important, this kind of combo right here. I was trying to find like optimal combos from this. Abby lift is, um, that one, right? No, it's towards fierce. This is not optimal. Towards fierce can be ducked. That's like a really important thing. It's pretty fast, but the fact that it's duckable just makes it so you'd really rather use crouch fierce. And it still combos from a jump, so you know it's no issue. And you crouch fierce, you can get a lot of stuff. I think this needs either a micro walk or a charged heart. I don't think you can do a charged heart punch from this. You can get a charged heart punch from some of his. Um, I think crouch heart punch charges like the fastest of all his uh, uh, punches. Well, not the fastest. I think this is the fastest. This one, it, I mean, this one's this one's probably the second fastest, but the hitbox is so bad you can't use it for anything. Yeah, it's this, then this, then that, and then this. Um, and that's actually important, because you can do that, and then get a charge towards Fierce, which you can do some stuff with. I missed it, but, like, the combo is uh, charge Fierce, charge towards Fierce, and down, charge down Fierce. Like that. That's, like, the ender there. I don't think you can get back Fierce in that combo because of range issues. Maybe in a very, very specific screen position you can do it. Um, let's do this combo. Whoa, I missed it. This is actually like, this is optimal. Um, ish. The thing is, you like wouldn't use the EX Abigail punch because it, it d barely gets an increase in damage over light Abigail punch here. But like apart from that, this is actually a fairly optimal combo. And also, Abby Lift does the same damage as Crouch Hard Punch, so you'd really rather just use uh, Crouch Hard Punch twice. Whoa. Alright, can I get the combo? I've gotten pretty good muscle memory for these combos now, but they're still kind of precise. What we got here? Max Power, Stand Hard Punch, Charge, Abby Lift. That's the Sports Fierce, right? Yeah, this is really not that good. This is like a really shitty version of Trial 7. Trial 8. Yeah. This is just a shitty version of Trial 8. It's just a, com a different combo avenue. It probably does more damage than Trial 8 did, but if you just do the two back fierces, Trial, trial 8's version does a lot more damage, like considerably more. So this is like never optimal. It's easier though. If you're not very good with Abigail, this is a much easier combo. There's only one precise timing in this combo instead of two for the other one. The trick is to just hit the crouch hard punch early enough. That's like the real thing. And then you've got to hold it for longer than it looks. And then that's a cancel. That's like really easy. I just didn't react in time, but it's a cancel. It sounds... I'm dropping it, but like this really... This is very... Abigail's not that hard to learn. He just feels like Makoto from like Blazblue, where you've got to hold like buttons for a very precise amount of time and then release. Very much like Makoto from Blazblue. He's like surprisingly technical. I'm having a really good time with this character. I hope a lot of people try him because he's like... He's definitely viable and he's got a lot of fun tricks to play around with.